Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and you are watching Ajaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 2 of e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial we see the user side of the our e-learning website. So in this uh, website we have three different different users. One for the login user, one is instructor, one is admin and the fourth one is the guest user. Okay, so we see that three user admin oh sorry guest user login user and then teachers okay so now we see the fourth number four type of user is the admin so i have the admin username and password gmail.com i enter the password one two three four four six seven eight nine okay Something wrong, a judge, a judge at your gmail.com. Press section at nine. Okay, so just look at here. This is the admin panel of our website. Okay, so this is the whole thing which is displayed from here. This is the back end of our website, and this is localhost slash in morning. This is the front end of our website. Okay, so let's look at here. These are total. These all are coming dynamically from the database. So this is how 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 many category we have, how many subcategory we have, how how many student we have, how many instructor we have, uh, how many courses are active, how many courses are pending, unpublished, pending payments. All are coming dynamically from the database. So just look at here. This one is the first one. We have all course categories. So just look at here. We have a five category which is displayed from here. If I enter, uh, let's try to delete this one category from here. So and, and I'm click on this one. So just look at here. Category delivery successfully. So we have a four category now. And now when I will refresh the dash, that one doesn't appear from here. Just because we delete that one as same way we if uh, we need to change the name of from here so i can also change the name save musics so just look at here musics okay this is a new category edition something like uh, business okay so anything something like uh, I class equal to this is the icon tag f a f a dash user then say area hidden oh sorry not like that area this he done equal to area he done equal to true okay i take over i take close and then say okay so just look at here business and that user are coming from here as same way we have a subcategories so all the subcategories coming from here All the subcategory coming from here. So just look at here the main category name and then it's subcategory. Okay, so we have that subcategory. If you observe here, we have a two category in development. One is the ASP, one is the PHP. Okay, and the third one is the web development. Okay, so that category will be displayed from into our dashboard account. Just because this uh, two category doesn't have any courses. For that reason, that two category doesn't display it from here. Okay. So you remember that one? So all active courses are coming from here. If I want to check the detail from that courses, so when I click on this one, so that will be directly opening from here. Okay. So you can see that from here. Check the lectures. If I want to check the lecture of this course, okay, so I can watch the lectures then i can take the decision to active the course or not 
okay these all are active courses pending courses doesn't have any point pending courses and three uh, just look at here we have a two angular js and how to become a uh, how to create a youtube channel so just look at here mm -hmm. if i scroll from here to like that unpublished courses here we can search the advanced courses but here uh i think yeah spending courses if we have a pending courses some so that will be displayed from here and here the in the action section we have to set the status like uh publish or unpublished if the unmatched condi uh course are coming just uh, if i enter the course name like uh, html and css designing okay and the lecture is doesn't match with this title so use uh sorry admin can deactivate that course from here okay so that course will be not displayed from into our home page of our website okay here is the i can search any any course from here with the advanced searching like uh, if i select this one if i select this one select this one free and language is english and i can click on search so just look at here doesn't have any course find we have but if i directly set the english language so you can say see that all courses are available here in hindi just look at here and same way we have a all student list so how many student are into the website just look at here uh, four student we have his name his image his phone number how many courses he enroll uh, how uh, which date that user added into our website so all the information are coming from here you can see that one from here these all are coming from the database we doesn't need to set anything from here okay so as same way we have all the teachers so just look at here recently we add the uh, one teacher in the next uh, last tutorial so just look at here uh this uh teacher have uh, eight courses and till now his earning is double one and three two dollars okay as same way we can search the user from here selection user type user date between so all are completely perfectly coming from here pay to instructor so just look at here if uh, uh, this website will work with the 50 50 condition just like uh, if users uh, sorry teacher create one course and set the price like uh, 50 dollar if you set the 50 dollar then the 25 dollar will take the website owner and 25 percent will be directly added into the teacher account as per every buying every course okay so if i confirm this one so it will be redirect me to the people.com and then uh, i pay this instructor to 430 dollar manually okay so we will complete orders so just look at here these all are complete orders are coming here advanced order search okay so that one will be remaining we will take that one into the our course okay terms and condition which will be displayed from here when i sign up in this website so i can see patil at the way gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so just look at here these all are conditions you can see that these three condition from here are displayed from here okay this is the conditions so this is a dynamically if i want to add new condition from here so just look at here i can also add that one from here contact us page so it will be provide all the links about the our website information just like uh, just you can you can see that one from here if you observe here here we set the facebook twitter and google icons 
so this will be redirect me directly from this page which I entered from here and save that one okay so this is uh, also dynamically okay fake page how can I pay so all are coming uh, fake page are remaining so we will create in this uh, project okay so about the section so that one is coming from here so just look at here that one is coming from here okay and also user can able to change the slider are running from here you can see that this slider also we can change that slider from here of every image of that slider okay so come back here also you can navigate directly from here okay complete payment okay active courses all are coming from here okay and then log out of this system so guys in next tutorial we are going to create a structure of our website and in next tutorial we will start working on our website so guys i think we will enjoy this course just because it's a wide and very beautiful course yeah also one thing i see to forget from you is uh, this website is we will create that website fully responsive just look at here this website is fully responsive you can see that we will create this website fully responsive okay so just look at here is a filter all available here so just look at here coming from here course description from here you can see that sign up login Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. add to cart come back here so just look at here remove okay come back again from here you can see this this is a fully responsive website you can set with the any device iPhone 4 and then laptop uh, samsung galaxy s3 you can see that see you can see that then i paid mini in i paid mini our website is something like this you can see that so this website will be fully responsive we will also uh, make this website fully responsive and i will teach you that how can you create your website responsive also in this course we will cover that one so guys in next tutorial we'll meet and start working on our project so guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to join this hilarious course so guys i think enjoy this course you will enjoy and definitely you will learn something from here so click on the subscribe button just because when i upload the new videos then you can you can give the you can message me directly subscribe on when i when you subscribe my channel then you can give the notification of my new videos directly into your inbox so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching see you in the next tutorial goodbye